flash floods makes the community lose their livelihoods mostly from uh, destruction of infrastructure uh, crops and sometimes also kill people and also kill animals so this is as a result of environmental degradation that is causing floods which is coming from the ugandan side and also sometimes from the kenyan side so drc and its partners are working to uh, reverse the situation one by trying to create res resilience in three major uh, components one is about water infrastructure development and in water infrastructure developments we try to develop uh, water harvesting infrastructures and water harvesting infrastructures like the dams and the earthen bands for co-production we also work in an area of to improve physical access particularly uh, uh, construction of uh, of drifts to connect people to government services and also access to markets. And then third, we also do environmental protection by helping the community to plant trees so that they create a microclimate that will help in preventing soil erosion, thus improving the soil fertility for crop production. So in many, many uh, ways, we've actually helped try to create resilience we have now people who have got some food for longer periods. We have communities now who can uh, get safe drinking water for drinking. And they've also been uh, able to access the market through the road connections that have been facilitated by DRC and its uh, facilitators. And the refugees, there's a lot of interaction between refugees and host community because of that connection and the facilities that have been able to be put. So we always want to scale this up so that we can reach more people.